Oh no, it's by the asylum! <laughs> no! <laughs> Instantly ruined! Ah. Uh, yeah. It would be nice that you didn't tell. <laughs> Wow. So now, this... now my expectations are immediately <laughs> ruined. Yeah, so this came out in 2007 to capitalize on the release of Primeval, the big croc film, I assume. As did Super Gator. They came out in the same year, I think. Yeah, but Super Gator oh. also came to capitalize on... No, it didn't really capitalize on oh. Dino Croc since they renamed it. And it was three years after Dino Croc. Well, uh, three Dino years Croc is the normal time uh, for sequel delays when you look at Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But that's because those ones have a budget that they need to organize. The actual pre-production, um, other than just okay. going out. Yeah. You can pop these films out one year after another, trust me. Why wouldn't I? Uh, Roger Corman is so busy, he was busy making probably a hundred movies other in films. between. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How Wait, pathetic so... of the asylum to try to cash in on Primeval, on the movie Primeval. Yeah. Wait, but so the reason that why... That was yeah. as well. To your sister. Yeah. Okay. Why? We're not inviting Danny. Okay. Wanted to say something? He liked your um, yes. Friend. Um, so? so the reason why I said we can just do our intro he in the video... Come to our wedding. Is because the, the first eight minutes of the video are just people walking around. Oh, really? <laughs> this would imply that you have watched this movie before. I just scrolled through it to check that and confirm that yes, the entire film is in orange color. Wow. Uh, it's not well, an accident. That, Every copy of that, the film on YouTube is like this. Uh, that's the asylum for you. I guess I'm already saying it, this is probably going to be worse than Super Gator. Like, mm. it's going to be more monotonous than, su than Super Gator. I'm assuming. I don't know. I was offended by Super Gators, just like constant kills and nothing actually happening. So, I don't uh, know. Here you are going to have nothing actually happening and then maybe a couple of kills. I don't know. I still have uh, kind of hope for this over Super Gator. I, I lost oh, God, all hope as soon as I saw the asylum. I was like, no. It always gets slower. It's just like when I watch some bad dinosaur movie and then I watch something like Area Force Heaven and I think it can't go lower. Not a great oh, yeah. Don't even swear in this. Oh, no. This is a horror so movie. Sweet. I'm assuming yeah. R-rated. Man, don't even say the F word. It's uh, a no. freaking place. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of horror. Actually, I, it's not R-rated. Like, I don't know. If, I don't think it has yeah, an official so rating. But I went top, on top. IMDb, and apparently the film, the the crocodile may be scary for little children. Jackson, eyes in front. Oh, yeah. That's Great. the only thing. So it's not even yeah. going to be like. Hey, I'm saying exciting yeah. for people who want horror movies or gore effects. They're not even going to be much gore in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I doubt it. So I'm right now assuming that. Oh, I was just about to say there probably won't even be a scene where the croc is in the water since that would be so hard to animate. Uh, so I can't believe we are still in the credits. We think you should have a dessert wedding. How far in? Four minutes. We still have the same popping up. Yes. What's a dessert wedding? You know, so you know, th there's nothing special about the way these credits dinner. pop in. Oh, look, this guy they made a couple of typos. And, and then. Uh, <laughs> like, happy. What is that style? Also, this still looks like oh. a typo. <laughs> that name. It's, <laughs> it's, a good idea. it's opening credits Cheap. with dyslexia. Hey. It's the new thing. Yes. Sharper effects, okay, we can all thank sharper effects for whatever we are going to see. Also, I just want to say, I brought a bag of nachos. For every kill, I'm going to eat one nacho. And uh, the advantage of this probably being a very boring movie is that I don't have to eat too many of them, because they are going to be very hot. 
Oh, okay. And since it's apparently still three minutes before a kill even happens, I don't even have to open it yet. Flip the partial three on the scope, Jackson. Yes, sir. Oh god. Anything? Not yet. So I'm assuming there won't be an actual main character in this. Just a bunch of soldiers. It, yeah. I don't know. I can't tell any of them apart anyway, so. <laughs> These credits keep popping up and you you are unsure. Okay, is this the actual name? Because obviously you won't have any, any any prominent people. So I'm still thinking. Okay, if if the name stays weird, maybe it's some foreign person who has just this one acting, uh, job yeah. in their entire career. So Ooh. maybe the orange tilt is to make this look more like Primeval the movie because that movie was pretty orange too. But that movie took place in Africa, so at least. Ooh. It kind of fits because uh, it's a warm color. So you automatically assume you're at a warm place, but this, I don't think they are shooting this in Africa. This looks like your average American forest, just <laughs> tilted orange. I'm loving the epic lake music, though. I have an engineering this is background. Ripping off Dino Croc as well. Epic sense. music. You don't have a lot of yeah. friends, do you? There's Danny. Not after you don't invite him to our wedding. True, but. Look, if you want to invite him, great. If not, great. Why do you care what I think? Because if you care, I care. Oh boy. Oh god. Supposed to be building character dialogue. Yeah, I'm I'm saying we won't actually see the croc emerge from the water. Or maybe, yeah, or maybe we will see it, but it will look ter well, it will look terrible either way. Ah. Also, yeah, if I was tasked to to track down a crocodile, I wouldn't even spend that much time. I wouldn't go that close to the shore and not look at the water. Yeah. Also, I like how they clearly just film this in a lake, but I like clearly really filming as much of it without dog. showing the other side as possible, Have they tried using their just to make it seem massive. Although that doesn't always work when there's a deep lake. Uh, I, 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 since I'm not paying any attention to a dialogue, as long as they are not trying to tell us in the movie that this is like the seashore, I don't mind if uh, they shoot at a lake. They said deep lake, so yeah. Yeah. Well, lakes are deep. It's not a pond. At least this they found true. a lake. <laughs> they found a lake to shoot. They realized they can't have Super Croc emerge from a pond. Yes. So maybe this lake is the equivalent to the waterfall from Super Gator. They couldn't find a better, more oh. scenic location. Yeah, if you're making a horror movie, don't have the first eight... <laughs> it's really eight minutes at this point, where <laughs> not the kill happens. If you want... It's not really building suspense, they're just walking around. And now that the sound has uh, gone away, I'm assuming... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck! No, oh, sorry. That's fine. Uh, see, this is how you can 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 shoot a, a water scene. Just have to splash off screen. Also, I need to go. Move on. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. Okay, I underestimated him. I didn't expect him to actually try to show the croc emerging from the water. Phantom Four, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this is Phantom 4, do you copy? Alpha 23, this oh, we is don't 4, copy. do you copy? We've lost contact Shut with up! Oh, oh, no. shit. Lieutenant, we're at Private 40. Oh, they are Phantom 2. Oh, they are. So, did the croc, did the croc just kill that one guy or did it kill everyone? Major, don't so, kill one of the other ones. It killed everyone, that was a bit pointless. But I don't think so, I think the character more. building now. must have been for a reason. Yes, they're still, they're still there. So, I need to know how many nachos I need to eat. Just one or or, or two more. I think just one. Okay. Not even a ripple. It might not be in the water. Could it be in the forest. I mean, you would have seen if it came out of the water, as huge as it is. 
So the only reason there's not a ripple is because these animators can't animate splashing water. Major, any luck finding the boy? Doesn't look good, sir. Yeah. We've got Kilo one on the ground on the recon, approaching the target. Radar indicates false positive. Why is Ron Atkinson in this? Search down again. He looks a bit like it. He does, he does, yeah, I see it. Hot cold disappears. This movie would yeah, actually be somewhat entertaining if they actually somehow got Ron Atkinson. We are not assuming anything. McCoy is working uh, on terrain. Assuming there's not a single out. person in this movie of any any uh, status. Yeah. Oh god. It's like the last minute of the film is just Jeff Goldblum talking about Super Croc. <laughs> Well, this earth used to belong to them, and now they're going to take it back. Welcome to Super Croc World. And it's just one individual. But just like the Allosaurus in Battle at Big Rock, apparently no military can find it somewhere in the forest. But they actually show the other side All of right. the lake. What's NOAA's take on this? Uh, well, we had a 6.1 seismic quake recorded by USGS about 13 miles west of uh, sea. Point Lagoon Naval Air Station three days ago, and it was at 2132 in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, are they going with the explanation? Oh, there was an earthquake and it came from somewhere beneath oh, the earth? Probably, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if that's better or worse than just saying, oh, yeah, scientists recreated it. Oh, Mesozoic. Yeah. At least it's not from the Pleocene, like Super Gator, everyone's yeah. favorite. I'm assuming, super. I'm assuming they they confused Dinosuchus and Sarcosuchus, since Sarcosuchus would be, it's the one usually called Super Croc, but it's from Africa, but they are clearly in North America. Or maybe they just didn't care. Yeah, or that. I, I don't know if I have to give props to Super Gator for even finding the name Phobosuchus because that's an achievement in itself to, to somehow still find such an outdated name. Like, how old was the book they used? Uh, I feel if I you mean, would Google animal, giant animal. asteroid crocodile, you would only find Dinosuchus and Sarcosuchus. You wouldn't find the name Phobosuchus. I mean, to be Why? fair, Animal Armageddon created yeah. featured Phobosuchus two years after um, Super Gator. Yeah. Well, if it was before, then I would have assumed, okay, some guy watched those two Animal seconds Armageddon. of Animal yeah. Armageddon was like, oh, oh, that's a cool thing. Yeah. So there's no reason why the orange fill or orange glow is still here inside their military base. I just forgot to turn the filter off on their camcorder. Oh, CG croc of sorts. It's very croc. Uh, well, as an as an infrared image, at least you can say, well, it doesn't have to look that good. <laughs> what what uh, second are you at, by the way? What we're looking at here is something bigger than an eight. Um, I am at thirteen thirty-five. 1337, 1337, 1347, 1348, 1349, 1348, 1349, 1349, 1349, okay, 1349, okay, yeah, you get it, yeah, I get the idea, yeah, I'm watching the infrared crocodile, yeah, 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 we're at the same time, I guess this is a warm-blooded animal, or maybe oh, yeah. it's gigantothermic, oh. it, it has a nuclear reactor inside it, that's just how it's powered, yes, I'm disappointed they don't have a... Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> what a is so awful! <laughs> you could see like they didn't even try and move its legs or anything, it was just T-posing yeah, in the know. water. You, you, it was basically, yeah. Well, it wasn't T, it was more like a... Um... In posing. Oh. I think it's time to go. Yeah. Sergeant Druid! We'll link up the central, we'll get another unit in. Look, I'm not gonna risk whatever is down here on you. We're both leaving. Do they even know why they are here? Do they know they have to go after a giant crocodile when they just sent and told to look and shoot at something? Dead? What shit? 
I mean, it would be a bit weird if they were sent to kill something and just ignore the giant crocodile. Where is that? Yeah. Also, I'm disappointed they don't have... Disappointed they don't have a Paul Ser I'm disappointed they don't have a Paul Serino lookalike for the villain. Because this would have been around the same time as actual Sarkozukas was getting famed. We need a Paul Serino horror film. Uh, you are assuming they would actually know Paul Serino. <laughs> Paul Serino. Well, I mean, all you have to do is watch the National National Geographic documentary, but they probably didn't even do that. Yeah. Well, the, when Crocs ate dinosaurs was after this. Yeah. Because that was around oh, really? the time. Oh, really? Yeah, because that one had Caprosuchus and uh, the Pancake Croc and all those things which were like Oh, damn, that was 2010. Yeah, so the documentary was 2010. Huh, I stand corrected. I thought it was older. Oh, I remember it because that was shortly before Primeval, the TV show, announced that they had a Caprosuchus. And at the time, I only knew Caprosuchus from that Red Crocs Eight Dinosaurs documentary because it was brand new. Oh, okay. Celia, what the hell do you think you're doing? You need to go to the court. Shh, look. I look direct, directly at the camera. Oh no. Oh, you're, please, don't tell me those are supposed to be eggs. <laughs> Phantom 4, are you getting any of this? Over. Those look like caterpillar cuckoos. Phantom 4, are you getting any of this over? Oh god. Oh. They Clearly don't even know happen. what an egg looks like. They don't know how crocodile- They've never seen a single documentary with crocodile eggs. Or nests. Uh, you- How? If this at least had the shape of like an- whoa, whoa, whoa. A, a bird egg, I would- I would understand not knowing the difference between a croc- Wait, <laughs> Oh god. Run, run, run. <laughs> Shit, come on! <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, and stock sound effects. This is... oh god. I mean, I, you could go into a whole rant about those eggs. Why are the eggs not in a... Uh, why are they not underground? Why have they... why do we have this weird shape? Why does a crocodile not sound like a crocodile? Oh... Is it going to outrun them? Is that the part they ripped off from the Primeval movie? Oh, great. Ah, uh, not your time. Did I watch a half one? Celia. Mm. There was no reason for him to even stop. Like, it's a giant quadruped crocodile, you can outrun it. Uh, of course, she, she falls and... Like, just keep running. By the by, the time she's on the tree, it should have already gotten here. Oh wow! Okay, that was some quick climbing. Uh, yeah, th that's the power of editing. She, she spent like ten seconds not getting anywhere close. Oh, of course they can't actually fell a tree in this, so they have to make the foot. Okay, it doesn't actually fell the tree. Also, this super croc is almost as big as the Mosasaur in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's it's it is as as big. She has seen that it walked away. Now she can. Is, is she like a cat that she can't get back down? That wasn't a yeah, something, some nice stock photos. Uh. And 19 minutes in, at least they finally know that they have to go after a giant crocodile. Based on the size of the area around the mouth, compared to the depth of Private Jackson, you're looking at 60 to 80 feet. Of what? What am I looking at? A crocodile. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I was so expecting her to go like the scientific name. What am I looking at? Sarcosuchus. What am I looking at? Dinosuchus. What am I looking at? A crocodile. Yeah, you can see it's a crocodile from the from the image. Uh 
Wow. I guess she's now the protagonist, the lone soldier. <coughs> so those sound effects were clearly added in post. Trying to be all emotional. Charlie Is she now the only guy's gonna? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna. Oh no, please don't tell me the croc actually ate everybody. <laughs> I didn't even count how many people those were. What appears to be is the perfect description for them. I need to speak with General Taggart, sir. You can, you can assume they are eggs based on the context. But they could also just be weird squashes. Oh. See, now that looks almost like a typo. Point Mugu Naval Air Station. Also, wow, they're really cranking up the orange filter. Maybe this Good is turning God. into Mad Max Fury Road now. I mean, Mad Max Fury Road would objectively have been better than the giant crocodile. Oh yes. Giant crocodile as fast as the cars. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. At least they got an actual helicopter. At least the they did. Two seconds they had to film. That's stock footage. Sir, Maybe that's why they use the orange filter so they can match it up with stock footage. Oh, that's a big brain play. So if they would make a movie set in World War II, they would have to make the entire movie in black and white just to fit it with stock footage. Yeah. And another 50 kinds of amphibious creatures, but none that are close to this size. There's actually a funny story where, like, you know the Gamera kaiju films? There are no crocodiles this size yep. anywhere in the world. There's one Gamera film that reused stock footage from the original black and white Gamera, and they just did not care. So the entire movie is in color except for this one sequence in black and white. So, that's the alternative. Well, it's a... Uh, you have to wait. What is, what is easier to do? Make the entire movie black and white to fit that one scene? Or we color that one scene, and the answer is to do none, neither. So I like how they just had the female scientist explain, well, there are so many species of amphibians and crocodiles in this area, none come even close to that size. Like, no <laughs> shit. If there was a kaiju-sized salamander in this region, I think people would already know about that. Yeah, but I mean, the scientist clearly knows what he's doing. He correctly identified it as a crocodile, so I mean, well, it, maybe it's Big an alligator, right? Send them both to marker 17 and get them off. And considering it's prehistoric, be... yeah, it's yeah, a and if you wanna be precise, technically. Yeah, Sarcosuchus is not an actual crocodile. It's a crocodilomorph, but it's not a crocodile. So I didn't count how many those people are either. So I'm not going even to bother with the. That's yours. Yeah. They uh, they look indistinguishable from the rest, except for oh, her. Yeah, they're all orange. Yes, ma'am. Over. So yeah, those those sounds are clearly <laughs> edited in post. Is, this croc is so massive. Why are they sneaking around? Surely they can see it coming. This croc is so massive, how does it even walk around in this forest? Extreme caution. Yes, sir. In theory, they could just uh, hide behind a couple of closer standing trees and they would be safe from it. Because this movie doesn't have the yeah. budget to actually show trees getting knocked over. Knocked over, yeah. Clear. So I'm surprised they are. They already showed the eggs this early. Usually, that's like the big twist in the at the end of the movie in the third act that the creature has yeah. offspring. Yeah. 
or at the very least halfway through. Like Jurassic Park did it halfway through, didn't they? Um, yeah. More well, actually, yeah. And then you have the later than half. A, a bit later, yeah. And then you have Godzilla 98. I know we, because like the Jurassic Park is two hours, and at the one hour mark is when the T Rex appears. Okay, then yeah, I guess you could say start of the third act. Sir, we lost it again. What? Disappeared? Not on the map. Oh, we have pretty bad reception. Is it like using tunnels to move about? Is that going to be the twist? Because this forest area has so many tunnels. <laughs> so it could have gone undetected for years. Uh, uh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Now I have to give credit to you for figuring that out. I wouldn't expect them to say they're underwater tunnel systems under the Western Pacific Forest. I need General Taggart on the phone immediately. Super Croc, all along. It's an emergency. That's like right up there on the conspiracy theories. You have Nazis, reptiloids, and then Super Croc is actually terraforming the earth. It's actually in the monster verse and it's using the same underground tunnels as the skull crawlers and Kong Skull Island. Honestly that Godzilla vs Kong, Godzilla and King Kong team up to fight Super Croc. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Super Croc has the size. Could recreate uh, the rampage movie. I'm sorry. Yeah, were those guys about to shoot her thinking she was Super Croc? Like that's just... Are you hurt? No, I'll be alright. Uh, maybe they are assuming it can change the shoes for star one. We located survivor over. Like it's like Shin Godzilla. See with recovery over. You haven't watched Shin, Shin Godzilla. Godzilla. You haven't watched Shin Godzilla. Okay, it's not a spoiler. No, but watch Shin Godzilla. It's good. It's much better than this. No, sir. I I, I know everybody keeps praising it. Maybe it's say it's like the best. The I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily like put it in my top five, but it's really good. You tell me where they're at. Uh, the only Godzilla movies I watched are the American ones, so I could only make a top three at max. And I'm assuming Shin Godzilla is going to be better than Roland Emmerich's version. So yes, Shin Godzilla will automatically be in my top five Godzilla movies. Where were you attacked? Approximately one click northwest of here. Thing was big. Bullets don't even hurt it. Hey, I'm assuming they're going to blow it up. Because when bullets don't hurt, don't you need explosives. You'll be safe by need a, a miniature volcano. C2, this is Star 1. We've located yeah, survivors. For context for our audience. Yeah. Prepare for extraction, over. For our audience, we've seen so far Dino Croc and Super Gator, and we've not yet made it to DBS. Dino Croc vs. Super Gator. It looks, it, it looks smaller in that scene. <laughs> I remember the, the, the wide shot where it walked into the lake, it was so huge, it didn't look like it would fit in the forest, but now it looks like regular dinosaur size. Yeah. Uh. So she just said bullets don't hurt, so just run away. Or yeah, use hand grenades or something. Like You just said bullets don't work. It, it's so slow, you could, you could run away. And, uh, try to think of a different tactic. Oh, yeah, very exciting. Just, so and yes. Also, it, it hasn't attacked, and it it doesn't even bother with them. It just wants <laughs> just walking past them. It's like with Godzilla in the first uh, legendary. <laughs> oh no. Ah! Uh, oh my! Smiling at one distance. Oh no, I didn't expect someone to actually get just killed by the tail. Oh, that's lovely. What? <laughs> and first of all, this looked awful. Second, when you look at how huge the head is, there's no way the way it's standing it could even eat them. Its snout is literally too long to to get down and eat him from the ground.
just realized the female blonde scientist looks a little bit like Charlize Theron. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that next time she's on screen. In the wrong direction. It's on the southwest end, about 200 yards from the lake. You should be right there. Uh, yeah, it would be nice to see her face again, but really? I think... See well, it. she looks like Charlize okay, Theron the same it. way that other guy looked like Rowan Atkinson. Like, okay, yeah. Quietly. Okay, let's do this. So, they don't look like eggs, they look like boulders. <laughs> look how big they yeah. are. I want, do you think they like actually made a ton of like fake eggs and felt proud of themselves? Maybe these are recycled props from another movie. Probably, actually. So I'm, I'm assuming for that shot, they may not even have actually made all those eggs. Maybe those are CGI. They look different than the ones we just saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are probably CGI. The same helicopter like, shot again? Like a map painting. Up. Oh. Pretty sure this is the same helicopter shot as from before. Yep. Now suddenly the croc is there. Now they're going to rip off Lake Placid. Have you seen Lake Placid? I have not, no. I've only seen bad, no, like really bad from ourselves. So Lake Placid is one of the good ones. You could watch that someday. Well, Fine, it, yeah. <laughs> so, how is the croc right now standing on its hind legs? So how did it manage to get up I'm there? assuming it is, yeah. Yeah, it's um, so much. Also, come on, the croc is so powerful, it could just bite the helicopter in half. That's like the one thing you, uh, I would believe the croc to actually be capable of. Yeah. That's, oh so, god, it's just. Where, what if it's doing now? Wow. I'm saying this is worse than Super Gator. Oh, wait. That's your time. I'm enjoying this a bit more than Super Gator, though. Well, well, okay, yeah. It's 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 worse made than Super Gator, but at least that makes it more entertaining. Yeah. So they couldn't even show an explosion for that helicopter. She's the most sympathetic character right now because I feel the same. <laughs> what time are you at, by the way? I may have gotten my times a bit mixed um, up. 3255, 3256, oh. 3257, 3258. I, I haven't okay, paused wait. yet, so we should be okay. on the same. No, I, I shifted mine around by accident a little bit. Well, you're not missing out on anything. You, we, we could probably watch this desync by like full uh, five minutes at the beginning and we would both say, well, they're just walking around in the forest. Nothing is happening. I guess we are on the same page. And then only uh. once the croc actually appears would we realize that we were out of sync. It is quiet. Quiet. Would make it just turn around. Maybe the croc has now eaten its fill after eating an entire helicopter. It's, it's, a, it's a monster movie film. I doubt anything. I doubt Super Gator, Super Croc will ever be full. Ah, you did it! I knew you this was going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, also for context, uh, uh, we, we did this spontaneously and Akero asked, Hey, do you want to record a reaction to Super Croc? And I asked, but we already did a reaction to Super Croc until I realized, no, that was Super Gator. And this is Super Croc. I wanna yeah. know if this thing moves, As it can, I, I, in theory, there should be a Dino Gator out there somewhere. I don't think so. Uh, I'm assuming this is stuck footage. It's like one good shot they bought. Oh. Watch the branches. The problem is Listen, this area, they Unless should at least have picked an area up. where the tunnels There's are actually visible because otherwise there's no way I would believe them to lose track of this giant thing. You can't avoid it. And I guess the point is they need to find the tunnels, but actually I don't think they'll actually have the budget for any tunnels. 
They hide, yeah. they pounce, they circle back, forward, it doesn't matter. If he wants you, he's gonna get you. They're strong. It's just skilled, so huge and so fire. slow. There's no way it should just magically disappear from one scene to the other. I haven't seen anything like it. Hidden Earth. experience this type of predator. Yeah, I grew up in Florida, not the city part. Oh my god, she's Florida woman. <laughs> she's the hero now. The heroine. Florida woman versus super crush. I'm assuming I'm assuming alligators killed her family and that's like her backstory. Move out, private. Well, how lucky that she happened to become a military person and happened to be sent on this mission because they didn't know it was a crocodile at first. <laughs> it looks... <laughs> it looks like a prop boulder. Dr. Perel. I'm saying she looks a little bit like Charlie's. Oh yeah, yes, he's, yeah. he's picking up that rock like it's nothing. Can't even show them destroying the eggs because they spend so much time building these props. Yeah. Probably spent half their budget on it. Oh, they went to like an elementary school and asked the kids, Hey, can you do some paper mache stuff for us? I think there's like this one school in the same town as like the asylum headquarters and like every month or so the asylum just comes in with like another arts and crafts challenge. Might go to land before it hits the ocean. Does it avoid salt water? Not entirely, but they do avoid ocean water, heavily alkaline. However, that's a normal croc. I am not sure the exact reaction this one will have. Will salt water kill it? It's going to be a giant saltwater croc so it can go into the ocean. It's probably used to some kind of saltless diet. Living oh, yeah. underground doesn't prepare you for living in salt water. Talk to me, Perez. About what, Captain? Why were you up in the tree? Crocs. The ones I'm used to can't lift their heads because of their jaw. This sounds like dialogue edit in post as well. This is a nest. There's at least a hundred eggs here. Oh, this is supposed to be the, the tunnel, I think. I your boys did it. Believe because it's, it's the exact same location as where the eggs were. Yeah, great. So they just have a, t a tiny stream and they filmed it in a way that you don't we're see the stream, so they can pretend it's a giant it's over, chasm guess. into the underground. It is going to be a volcano in this. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Major, what's a worst case scenario? Worst case scenario is that we watch this movie. Population? Roughly 182,000. Okay, they had to find some city they could attack and they didn't have the budget to film in Los Angeles itself. So they were like, Oxnard! Everybody will fear for their lives if the Squawk attacks Oxnard. For that now, is there? Yes. After Hurricane Audrey hit, we found bits of one, one of America's most famous cities. We are probably sounding very, very stupid right now for being like, I didn't even know Oxnard was a real city. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Americans. I, mean, I, I, I literally, I did not hear of it before this film. But um. I mean, neither. I'm assuming it's a real city. I'm not going for the trouble of googling Oxnard, California, being like, oh, oh, I'm sorry for assuming this is some some little town. It's about 40 feet, twice as long as the largest crocodile in modern times. But these were bigger. Much bigger. So you came here to find the source of the bones. And I think we have. There's probably a reservoir that feeds the lake in that river. How thick is the armor on this thing? That's something you're on the side. Very thick. Well, well, extra thick. Well, what will it withstand? By my calculation, it can walk through a colossal amount of firepower completely unharmed. We just you're going to blow it up. The scales we found in Niger. The armor on an Archosaur is so strong that none what? of our modern bullets would ever penetrate it. For all of our advances, <laughs> we have not created anything 
that comes close to the aggression, resiliency, and overall fighting power of the ancient crocodile. It's worse. A lot of crocodiles survive for over a hundred million years because they're virtually oh, impenetrable. The crocodiles you see today in modern times look the same as they did back then. They are the only living species that stayed evolution because, quite frankly, they didn't need to adapt. Crocodiles oh. have been on this earth since before the dinosaurs. They're indestructible. They're this is still going. This earth has ever sustained. Yes. And I, could eat I need to wait fact, till I hear the I am the dinosaurs fake came extinct, they before I can react. They have been on this earth for millions of years. They're aggressive, wow. relentless, protective. Their armor is virtually impenetrable. A tank. Just said okay, that. I'm okay, so if these... I want to hope it's not my copy, like the YouTube video we're watching that just loops it for some reason. My guess, and I'm just guessing, is that they had to adapt to a subterranean habitat. All right, okay. now let me explain everything that is wrong with that. Well, first of all, she just calls it ar an archosaur. Like, archosaurs, that includes crocodiles, dinosaurs, birds, so many other kinds of animals. You can't just call this giant thing, oh, it's an archosaur. Like, if that was the name to describe this particular kind of crocodile. And then she says that they tested, they tested the fossilized scales uh, to f and they would withstand every kind of bullet. Like, can you imagine Paul Serino <laughs> doing that? <laughs> Digging up the super croc fossils and he'd be like, okay, now let's shoot a rocket launcher at it and see how it reacts. <laughs> uh, wow, this, this was written by some crocodile fanboy. I, I, I've never heard so much. Uh, Jurassic Park is accurate compared to that when you have Muldoon going, oh, the raptors are as fast as cheetahs and they are so smart. Uh, th that's realistic compared to what this movie is saying. Oh, yeah, you can you can totally do the fossilized scales with send anything. We tested it. Crocodiles are indestructible, literally indestructible. Wow. Oh, that was glorious. Oh, that, yeah, wow. This is... <laughs> yeah, this, I, I have no words for that. I, <laughs> wow. Best scientific rant of all time. That should be a copy pasta. I want that to be an actual copy pasta. Copy past about how awesome crocodiles are. What's its DMPI? Now. Sir, at the stages course, we're looking eight, ten minutes tops before it hits Peter. Try and get the women and children out. Everyone else should stay indoors. We don't have yeah, because minutes. fuck the men. <laughs> get the women and children out. But the men, oh, they can, they are expendable. So yeah, we are almost at the half mark of the movie. <laughs> wow, yeah. We're almost at the half mark yeah. of the movie and it's already yeah. going to the city. Wow. And, and Bear in mind, well, though, the, I credits think, are, I the credits are yeah. ten, the credits are 13 minutes. No. Wait, it, I it, think, it, it I loops. Think it, it loops at the end a little bit. Uh, this one is just much better oh. quality than the uncut, than the unlooped version. Yes, sir. Okay. But the, the, not counting the loop, the 125 minutes bit is accurate. Okay. So yeah, oh. we are approaching the third <laughs> act, <laughs> even though there wasn't really a second act, <laughs> like with Super Gator. You can tell these were people they just picked up from the streets and were like, hey, you wanna be in a movie for one second? Ten meters or one click from point Petus. We're going to have little collateral damage, but in general, we're good, sir. Little collateral damage, as much as the budget allows. <laughs> they need to go all police brutality on this. This is not a zombie movie. There's no reason to 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 be that extreme about it. What make it just give up? Crocs don't have a lot of range. They give up after a while. Maybe we let it too too far from home. Is she still crying? 
the thing that I think that she's supposed to like act tired, but I don't know honestly. Those are Apaches. Uh, I'm, I'm fully loaded. It feels like they just abused her off screen. <laughs> We're like, okay, now like, go film the scene. Be distressed. I said be distressed, god damn it. Surprised they didn't try to make a flashback scene where we see her parents getting attacked by gators in Florida. Yeah, I was expecting that to be honest. They just have but that one line, oh I'm from Florida. I have experience with crocodiles, even though those are uh, alligators in Florida. Crocodiles. Oh. Well, when they go to the city at least that means we no longer have to deal with the damn forest. Damn I'm getting sick of it. Oh, true. So I have no idea, uh, the, the second helicopter and the people that came from that helicopter, are they dead as well? Shouldn't they still, I'm assuming the, these two are the only ones in, that still survived in the forest. Yeah. And this is stock footage. This is I have on my mark. Uh, I completely lost Gage, lost track of where everybody was. Uh, yeah, this is so so stuck for the <laughs> Wow! All that's missing is like a rocket launch from NASA. Yeah, there's a rock again. Some. How are they even going to shoot it in the middle of the forest? Okay, now. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so blowing up doesn't work. I. The music is off. Can you be more more obvious with? That? <laughs> okay, so now how did he tell that the truck was supposed to be dead? Did he see a blown up corpse? Oh, the smoke looks so awful! And this is why I hate the asylum. Their movies are all like this. So much pointless walking around, then you get the explosion effect, and it's something that looks like it was done in the after effects in, in one, one afternoon. No, it's still alive. That's waste. But then the question is, how did they not? How did it even survive? It doesn't have a wound. It's impenetrable. Yeah. So so now, since it's impenetrable, how are they going to actually stop it at the end? Or is the movie going to be like a twist? They don't stop it. It goes into the ocean and it's. Look at that! Look at the size of that! It's a kaiju at this point. And it was so huge, there's no way that could walk around in the forest. At least this movie puts Oxnard on the map. This movie is famous for being the subject uh, of the final climax of Super Croc. Uh, I almost said yeah. Super Gator. You almost said Super Gator, yeah. Why are they even bothering with pointing their rifles at anything? It does nothing. Uh, you don't know, it, it could it could show up any second because it's so fast. And Also, I'm assuming the forest is Roger. not that far away from Oxnard Over. because now they are going to go there by foot. Okay, no, they, they are calling the chopper. No, no, no. Which means we are going to see that helicopter scene for a third time. Right, time for some bonding moment. Let me. Maybe now comes the flashback. Of course, being they've already used up their sepia orange tone, what are they going to use for flashback color? No, I'm going to kill you. Oof. Uh, yeah, so black and white? Or color. 
for hey. a big quest. Stay here, they're bringing help. Flashback is just going to be regular color. If there's a flashback at all. Person to person, stand down. They're taking care of it. Didn't even light up that cigarette. Private! Where the fuck do you think you're going, huh? Think you could take this thing out alone? You? Alone? It's because I'm Florida woman. Sweet Jesus, Carl. You are something else. This isn't right, I'm a I... Gatorland Road <laughs> Show. I'm assuming sense, that was Shut actually up. the crook. Because first drug. of all, it's been my backwoods gator yeah. experience that's been keeping us alive so far. And second of all, this, this is not a wedding ring. It's an engagement ring. What kind of bullet-pissing, jar-headed moron can't tell the difference between a wedding ring and an engagement ring, huh? I'm not married! I was engaged to a guy in our unit, but now he's gone. Now I don't want to fight this 100-foot crocodile. I just want to go help these people. Oh, I didn't realize she was engaged to one of them. I thought they were married or something, I don't know. No, they do mention, like, do you want to invite so-and-so to our wedding whilst hunting the crocodile? Oh, I didn't pay attention because I just saw so many people with guns walking around, I lost track of who was who. She was the only one I could recognize. I didn't know. So are you even allowed to wear your ring while you're on a mission like this? Like you could, that could, that finger could get caught on something. Yeah, I don't, yeah. So yeah, this, this is her fault. <laughs> you can't walk around it's like that. This doesn't even remotely look like an egg. <laughs> look, I'm staying. <laughs> this is like a paper mache thing from an elementary school. Where are we with this? We need you to authorize the National Guard. Dr. Perot, give a phone call. Come to staff, General. I have a very tiny office, I just realized. No, that's good. That's very <laughs> like, it's really crowded in there. I need you to change course. An AS, JRB, Los Angeles. Like, like, the reveal is giving me, like, JRB they're in Wait. Oxnard. Like, this is the Oxnard Military Defense Center. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the Oxnard Military Defense. Hold it! Back him up. Moving him out to NAS. Let's go, we need to move, come on. Maybe since they keep showing these eggs, I'm assuming uh, they're yeah, going hatch. to have like a scene where a lot of, yeah, where the babies are hatching and attacking. Alternatively, it's going to be sequel bait. Like what I suspect is that Charlize Theron is like trying to like capture them or something. And like the twist yeah. is going to be they have the eggs. to why it's heading towards Oxnard? He's like the, the female scientist from the first Dinocroc movie. The one who created oh. it. Son, I've got a 10,000 ton reptile bearing down on a populated area. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. Like Absolutely. there was a point when I said like 80 Sorry. feet and 100 feet. Now it's 10,000 tons. Moab. Which is like 10,000 tons. Usually firepower can do the trick, but... Hey, assuming a blue whale weighs like 180 tons. Could also... This thing is like, okay, let's say 200 tons far away. Feet. This thing is like fifth. Yeah, two times the maximum kind of possible estimate about? for a blue whale. I'd recommend yeah. 10,000 divided by oh. 150. No dart would penetrate this thing's armor. How much would it take? The flaxidil is in gas form. Extremely toxic, but you need this to thing is 66 times sure, more heavy than a blue whale. We're near a human population, it's a full cost lives. We have plenty of firepower on standby, and we can always explore the nuclear option on US. Oh, yes, the nuclear, of course, two kilometers to be harmful to humans. We can stop it in its track. This is the reason they picked Oxnard because they knew nobody's going to care if you nuke Oxnard. <laughs> Homeland Security would never authorize unleashing firepower of that magnitude on American soil. Well, let's just hope that something else eradicates it. Look, at the very least, we can drag this fucking thing out to sea and then do it. It eradicates it. We need the last resort. We need super gator. Do we have enough flaxidil to stop that thing? This this yeah. suddenly turns into a kaiju versus kaiju fight. What about attaching it to a warhead? Aerodynamic dissemination. Wait, a chemical weapon? No, I, I have cousins in Santa Rosa. That First, we'll start out with the Schedule 1s, and then we'll follow that up with the Moab. Look, 
Chemical weapons effectiveness depends largely upon atmospheric conditions. Now, we are facing a 14 mile an hour southwest wind coming in from the Sierra Madre. Clear all areas, set up roadblocks, and end this thing before it reaches Oxnard. We're going to blow this fucker up. We're doing both. The Flaxido will slow it down long enough. And Explosion the didn't sure work before, there. but now it works. Call your boys. Nuke it. Nuke it from bigger. orbit. It's the only way to make sure. You have 10 minutes to get your stuff to base. Keep all lines open. We need an oxygen destroyer. Uh. I like I like these signs. I, I don't think they would just write operations like that on the wall. See now hey. it looks way smaller than before. This is another stock stuck. Oh god. Maybe this movie is somehow Besides, sponsored by Oxnard because they keep mentioning that name. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, we'll wait for the end credits if it was like this film received funding from Oxnard City Council. Yeah, tax, tax breaks or something like that. Because uh, even if this was attacking New York, you wouldn't constantly remind the people that this thing is attacking New York. You just need one establishing shot and one line saying it's heading for this city and then we get it. You don't need to constantly mention it's almost reaching Oxnard. You're single now? <laughs> Evacuate the city. I've already issued a severe level for Oxnard and the surrounding areas. I thought they had Without already evacuated. started to evacuate. I thought, this city. Yeah, I thought that was the We're point. Good. Terrorism with little time yeah, to react. The croc is so slow, you have the time. The you don't need to wait until it's right we'll at the gates. Lieutenant, where's my Flaxadale? In the air, sir. What's the projected intercept? Four time? minutes, 49 seconds. And to Oxnard? Uh, approximately 16 minutes, sir. Population? It's barren, not even a hillbilly. Are you positive? There are teams sweeping the area now, so they're looking for transients and teenagers. Make sure we life. get everyone out of its path. Or we're in serious fucking shit on that. Yes, sir. They did what already evacuate it. Six minutes to the crop. Yeah. If that's it's a very short window, General. Wait, so now we have a giant crocodile walking cleared. through an empty city. Okay, let's get our pilot Favorite climax. So the only threat is collateral damage. Of course. Collateral damage. So the stock, worst fear. Toxins are terrible. Yeah. But they don't have the budget to show an actual skyscraper collapsing or something like that. It's going to perfectly walk don't between think, does, the buildings. Does Oxnard have skyscrapers? It, it probably. Okay, that was the wrong word. How is this? You still get there in time? Maybe I actually need to look up Oxnard right now. Okay, I'm gonna see uh, Oxnard. Check, check out some images. What does Oxnard, California look like? Oh, it's very flat. It's very flat. Oh yeah, it's perfect tiny. for a giant crocodile to walk it's, over. It, it's a big, Probably flat, a coastal city. Sir? Make sure they have a shot. Yes, sir. Tango, this is Phantom 4. When you have a good Be shot, the coastal take city. It. They co couldn't get LA. Great. It's just going to walk along on the beach. Yeah, See? speaking it's... of which. Yeah. It's just going to walk along on the beach perfectly so it doesn't mesh with the palm trees. Four, three, two, go. So this, <laughs> this looks so bad. Another explosion. Hey, Phantom 4, can you confirm a kill? Tango, didn't even four. try to you build this one up. <laughs> like they just showed the explosion. No reaction. Tango, this is Phantom 4. Can you confirm a kill? Tango, this is Phantom 4. Can you confirm a kill at this moment? Now the smoke should have lifted. You you can you can see. Well he cause considering how he's still over oh, the no. ocean, I'm not surprised. Okay, let's bring in the big guns and put this thing to bed. We need a spec ops team to take the remains to a covert location immediately. C12 is mobilized with ETA of. So did. 
Uh, do they the think they killed it or do they think they stunned yeah. it? Don't know, but. More helicopters. Oh, Oxnard maybe it has does some. Not look like Oxnard. Oxnard. Okay, then they had some scenes of LA as well. And some stock footage. Also, it's nighttime now. When did that happen? Maybe the reason the entire is movie was orange up to uh, under to that. What? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, so the reason the first half of the movie was orange was that that was supposed to be evening, I guess. And just like that it turned nighttime. And then now it's 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 completely dark. And nighttime has a red filter, naturally. Yes. <laughs> See, now they have actually... They actually had sure. some shots of Los Angeles. Sure. They can't film in Los Angeles, but they had yeah, scenes to make you believe that this now takes place in Los Angeles. What? Oxnard, Los Angeles. So, Nothing. I, just don't I don't know how close they are to each We're other. Uh, I, I don't know. Beam is on their way. Well, that figures. See. Major. Imagine if if this if our podcast channel had thousands of thousands of American viewers and all the comments okay. would be full of how do you not know about Oxnard? <laughs> okay, Oxnard is not that far from Los Angeles actually. So. Okay. But the croc is just going to walk through Oxnard because they could actually film there. Yes, sir. Please tell me that was a moment of delusional shock. No, sir. We located the croc's nest and there appeared to be about a hundred eggs. Did you see these? No, sir. We came across that same area later. We found that it had been scorched. Scorched. Wow. Oh, they, okay. So it wasn't a tunnel. It was just oh. a scorched. Okay. So, so there was like a hundred X. They took three or so and destroyed the rest. Okay. Military markings. Yeah. Could it be from another force? Because they couldn't be bothered to make a hundred actual props. I'm telling you, those scenes where you see yeah, all the eggs, all those were CGI. Now. Henry, we need to focus on a massive assault about to hit a major yeah. American city. We'll deal with this egg problem later. General, what if the croc is after something? What if it's after its eggs? Crocodile is <gasps> one of the most defensive. No. Oh, yes. Worse than bears. No. A croc that big? No. Its sense of smell would reach for miles. It can sense the Smith. eggs that were brought away by the car. Yes. Damn. Oh. Oh, God. Well, oh. but then why did the croc spend the first half hour just walking around in the forest when the eggs were still with it? I don't know. Listen, my body hurts in about a million places. I'm gonna head home. Don't you want to stop it? We have an entire U.S. military to kill that thing. I need a shower, a beer, and some sleep. Oh, he has the time for uh, the time to go to sleep. So the croc is that far away? It's moving. It looks it looks like regular dinosaur size in that scene on the road. Where is it going? Sir, it's heading towards Los Angeles. Towards us. But clearly dinosaur was 10,000 tons. Damn it. Yes. Dinosaur also had the ability to change size at will. It's like Ant-Man. to address the possible decimation of the second yes. largest population center in the country, which means we need to move a few million people in 20 minutes. This is a fucking disaster. Does the salt water slow it down? I don't know, sir. And we still can't track it with any consistency. Its armor gives it almost Salt water stuff. wouldn't really Does slow it down. Does the salt water weaken it in any way? Again, sir, we don't know. I don't think even the Army Sciences Corps knows that. This is unprecedented. God damn it! Do we have a visual? Negative, sir. Like trying to stop an avalanche with a goddamn stop sign. We need a strategy. We need an exterminator. This isn't a war. The it's all feels like animal. the build up to, to creating their Everything. mecha it's super true. croc. Ah, I was gonna say that. To tell the president of the United States that it's too late to introduce that. To be under attack. It's all over the news. So, like I said, the president like... of the United States. No, tell the president of, I don't know, yes, France. Me. I don't know how it knows, but it does. Imagine if this movie took place in 2019 and Donald Trump was the president who had to deal with a giant crocodile attacking the city. We need to move these eggs now. The wall. Simple. I have Jones setting up a C-133. Yes. 
Be at the tarmac in 10. Uh, well, we don't want to get political here. We have yeah, to look at those yeah. marvelous egg models. Henry, I've just been informed of covert op to secure the eggs of this creature at a secret base for research into its potential uses for defense. Where are the eggs now? They're being held at an NAS facility just outside the port of Los Angeles. Wouldn't expect of all the movies them I wouldn't expect them to rip off Jurassic Park 3. I don't know if that's the current assessment. Yeah. Did they make a so drug movie and then they are like, oh yeah, one plot point is that we got the X and it's following us because we got its X. C-133 is taking off. Now I'm hoping that they have a scene at the end where they have one person standing in front of this gigantic crocodile and handing it the, the egg. And then the giant crocodile is going to very carefully pick up the egg with its jaw and then walk away. It's just going to destroy everything. Oh, they, they have no, 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 no sign on the back of the car. Oh, <laughs> that's someone's uh. car. They were like, no, no, no. I don't want my, I don't want this to be visible in the movie. I mean, I think it's kind of illegal, anyways. So I don't think you're supposed to show actual license plates. But like, um, okay, this is just stolen. Do, do a fake Probably one. Create like yeah, a fake exactly. license plate. To prevent them from being destroyed. Yeah, I'm counting on you, Dryer. Yes, ma'am. Okay, take her to the tarmac. There's a C-130 waiting for you. Play the chaperone. I'll see you in two days. Yes, ma'am. Wonder since they, uh, if the crocodile can track down the X, what would happen if they take the X with a helicopter and fly like to the other side of the Pacific? Would the croc still be able to to know where the eggs are? No matter where they are. Yeah. Yeah. The odds are but use the tunnels. Put the eggs in a rocket and shoot the rocket into space. The crocodile will follow and then the problem is solved. The eggs in a volcano. Done. The composition of this armor. Yes. Yes. Put the eggs on the edge of the volcano so the crocodile arrives in time to still see the eggs and then it falls into the volcano. Although it's probably lava proof as well. I agree. Damn. So if it can resist explosions, it can probably resist lava as well. This is stock footage from somewhere. I wouldn't even show it on the on the TV Best screen. <laughs> it just have some random destroyed building <laughs> and the line Croc heads to Los Angeles. Obviously, it gets more concentrated the closer you get to Los Angeles. So we're getting pretty dicey at this point for explosives. Thank Movie you, would be better if this was if the super croc was like the shoe, you know those crocs. That would be a <laughs> that would be fun. What do you mean? Attack of a giant croc. If the croc was the shoe, you know those shoes, crocs. Oh, <laughs> yes. Imagine that. Yes. Super croc. It's all over the news. 14 people Achieve. killed. Right, get to According it. According to the news. Warm? Go. Have those idiots tell everyone to stay off the street. It's like we're delivering dinner to the fuck. Don't throw off them. Major, we see 133 taking off right now. We need to stop it. Take the cargo, out it on a truck. It's our only way of controlling oh. this path if it's going after a tape. We lost the croc, sir. It's back in the water. How long? ETA, If it goes into the water, it could just Major, swim through the ocean with to everything we've got Hawaii. There's no reason for it to keep water. coming yes, sir. out of the water again. No, sorry, I'm, I'm yeah, stopping now. I'm not going to eat 14 nachos at once coastline, for off screen deaths. Where are the Moabs? Redirected to Los Angeles. Cannot be like this. I'm not asking Jack. We're both on the same page here. We have to stop it. McCoy, plot an area for attack. Major, get your boys ready. Oh yeah, you can totally fly through <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> now it's day again, I guess. No, no, it's night. Hey! Did Brent. it? Come on, I'll give you a ride. Bombs. To the foot of the city. 
still moving, sir. What else we got, Major? We have a major assault on the field right now, sir. Without success. We just don't know where we are. still have lost track where exactly the drop. Okay, there it is. Now it looks smaller. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that in the background? <laughs> Damn it. Is that supposed to be a sweeping shot? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it actually destroyed. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't even bother shooting at it. See, and now it has the perfect size to fit on that road. Even though it was much bigger when it was on the beach. Also, it's, it's making sounds without opening its mouth. And to be fair, crocs can do that. Just yeah, but the kind of sound it makes. Yeah. Yeah. Kill. Actually, <laughs> I think it's stepped on one of them. It's surprisingly difficult to keep a kill count on this movie. With Super Gator, at least you knew when it killed Take something. Nah, too dangerous. Because downtown. they always spend like half a minute just so showing the person yes, close-ups yeah. getting eaten. But like with this. Me. Just Ooh, walks over someone, out. then you assume, oh, I guess it got <laughs> squashed, even though in theory, style, huh? if it doesn't directly step on you, going? you could maybe Did go you? under it. I gotta see this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot a bomb into its mouth or something, aren't they? Already on it, sir. Homeland Security declared it's a disaster area. We have emergency workers. Okay, yeah, but home. now I can understand we'll this movie not being R rated you? because this thing is so huge. With you? There aren't even any any gory scenes. It's just oh, I guess it now ate someone. They don't even show someone actually getting eaten. It's always a shot where you don't where you don't see like a little CGI person getting uh, falling into its mouth or something like that. Of course, they couldn't even film that. Into the salt water, we can use this opportunity to slap it down while it's struggling. Maybe Dr. Perot would know better, sir. Dr. Perot is the reason that this thing has gotten as far as it has. She's not to be trusted. You know, sir, if you lead it to the water, it's our best opportunity. We can drive it well, out to the sea where it's open, and then we can kill it. Can't even properly edit. Like, j just cutting at the end of the sentence. If it gets back into the water... Spend as much time on the shot as you want. Oh, oh, she actually has the eggs uh, in her car. Oh, she's getting eaten then. I, mean, I, I would have assumed maybe they put the eggs in the car and then use it to lure the truck away. But but no, she's just hiding it somewhere. Hey, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> this is the first prop I have ever seen! Hey, how hard is it to make an egg? It's, it's directly in front of her. Why do you have... Don't even know why she's doing this. Also, yeah, the, the sound design is great. Just just keep lo looping the sound. <laughs> no! If this thing really is looking for its eggs... No! Maybe we can lead it away. Lure it. To awaiting Moab <laughs> using the eggs as bait. This is awful. <laughs> I 
Why? What? Tell everyone to move. What? Now. <laughs> hey, I said hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did they... <laughs> the... 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 I no longer function for the rest of the movie! Damn it! The... 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 <laughs> okay, uh, okay... Okay... Okay, I'm back. So... Wait... So they're using yeah, the X to to attract its attention. I was trying to lure it back. Oh. Part four, so we can live another day to destroy another town? Better both evils. I can't live. That thing killed my fiance. That bitch is gonna die. What are you gonna do? <laughs> we haven't attached its most vulnerable spot. Which is? I told you. The underbelly. Oh, you're telling me this thing is so huge, nobody managed to hit the underbelly yet? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? My job. You could oh, literally walk under of it course. with a gun and shoot upright. He's, he's going to save the day, isn't he? Because he's a man. Yeah, even though she's he, the one with all the establishment that she, she knows so much about. The, the backstory and the package. Yeah, she has the experience, the backstory. We spent most of the movie with her. So they do have the him one... kill it. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's going to try to kill it, but and die. I'm assuming he's going to die, but somehow it leaves. That thing. Uh, an... <laughs> okay, there was just a black screen. It didn't even have. Also. Those eggs, it's eggs. Shouldn't it stop at its eggs? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. See, now okay. it's a completely different size again. Also, why does she not simply tell the other people to shoot at its underbelly? Nice. Need to do is aim a little lower and they're going to hit the underbelly. It's not like it's a small target. So now the crook is just going to stand there with its axe and do nothing. Wait here, just freak me. Oh my god, you can see how how wow! Oh, <laughs> did, did, you see how poorly he's 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 oh. put in front of the CGI! Wow! <laughs> wow, this is this is bad even for asylum standards. Like the asylum also made Jurassic City and that at least looks looks acceptable. Oh. He, she's now standing below it. The croc didn't attack her, it's just that. Attack. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't try to directly throw the bomb into its jaws. No. Please don't tell me the explosion is off screen. The explosion is off screen. They couldn't even animate it blowing up. Wow. Oh, great. They couldn't. Wow. Also, now, now the wounds were on top of its body, <laughs> even though the bomb was below it. <laughs> An anticlimactic ending. And I know sex. Was sex so know. terrible? <laughs> I. <laughs> they they can't even show on screen right, how they're burning right. the eggs. My office, first thing in the morning. Oh. By the way, good job. Oh. Oh. Okay, so on a How's technical level, this this is the worst the crocodile movie of all time. On an entertainment level, I would say Super yeah, Gator is point. probably okay. worse. 
But I'm oh, lying. Yeah. <laughs> but as a as an attempt at a movie, this is worse. Oh yeah, and of course there's the one surviving egg. Which you would assume someone would notice it some. Yeah, and it's yeah. No! <laughs> Nick, they can't even they can't even animate the hatching. Wow, wow this was bad. Oh someone actually died while they made this. Wow. I feel so sorry for the person. This is new this is your legacy. This movie is your legacy, Natalie Pausch or Porsche. yet like you would assume the first thing you show when the credits begin is the title super Croc, but instead it's in loving memory natalie Porsche. and the, uh um did the title oh wait i guess the title showed up at the start of the movie oh, i don't wow. think it did i think it's gonna show up at the end oh, yeah yeah because uh in the skimming through okay i'm going yeah. to look up her name because she was an actress so i had Want to say? Um, oh no! No, I I went to IMTB, and she's a, a one of the post-production producers. Okay. She's not an she's not an actress in the movie. She on IMDb Thanks. she has she has two producer credits. One is Super Croc, and she has one actress credit, which is some other movie, and then one thanks credit for Super Croc again. So no, she's not. Even though she's an actress, she's not an actress in this movie. Because I was assuming it would be very sad if if she was like the main female character. But yeah. no, she's just some loser. Here's the ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this was bad. Ahead. I'm gonna skip ahead to see if Ox Nard. Uh, how far? Go to the very. Go to go to like one twenty three. One twenty three. One twenty three twenty or something. Twenty three twenty. Shot on location in Castile, Lake, California. Oh. Global Asylum Inc. Events are fictitious. No and ha ha. No animals were harmed in the production of the screenplay, Ex except the super croc. We killed that bastard. Ha ha. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll stop now. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you know if Armin had seen this movie before? He had, he had not. Oh. I didn't think I it was going to be that incredible. No, I can't believe how bad it was. La, 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 the effects were terrible. The the effects were were. It's not just that the effects were terrible in themselves. It's, it's just like they couldn't even like chroma key them. <laughs> the actors in front of the croc. They couldn't even show on screen the croc getting shot or blowing up. The, the egg props are <laughs> just some. The egg props didn't look like eggs. There's the stock footage with the helicopters. Uh, they tried to have a scene where it destroys the car and they have the tiny... <laughs> that, that broke you, didn't it? The car. Yes! Yes! Wow! It's like a YouTube video could do that better. Yeah, that, that car. Because I was, I wanted to say, like, it doesn't even make sense that she's driving there and the truck is right in front of her. And why is she driving up to it? Why isn't she trying to turn around? Why is she standing there like that? I was wondering whether she tried to get its attention and lure it away or something. But no, she was just standing there with the car. And before I could comment, why is she just standing there with the car? That happened. And and my brain couldn't 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 
couldn't process anything anymore. Same with the scene where she explains how oh, that indestructible scene. Oh crocodiles God. are. That scene is amazing. Some that would really make a great copy pasta. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Somebody got paid to write that. <laughs> okay, what do you know about crocodiles? Uh, they, they have armor. Okay, anything else? Oh, they have super uh, indestructible armor. And scientists even tested it on the fossils <laughs> with military weapons. But nothing could, could destroy the armor. Because, yeah, this is what Paul Sweeney has been doing for the last 20 years. It's why he's not publishing any new papers. He's busy shooting at Sakasuka's fossils. Uh, oh. And then their scientific okay. name for it is Akosor. Oh, yeah. What am I looking at? A crocodile? <laughs> yes. This is like... Any, unlike anything you've seen before, 80 feet, 100 feet, what am I looking at? It's a crocodile. <laughs> no shit, it's a crocodile. Oh. Yeah, I would. So, in terms of quality, I would rank this as the lowest of the three that we've watched so far. Yes. Lower than Tiny Crocodile yeah. Supergator. Entertainment yes. value. I think I'd put oh, it, I don't know, that's pretty high up. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure if I can say it's more entertaining than Dino Clock, but I feel our recording of Dino Clock was more entertaining because we had Armin with us. We had more people making jokes with this. It got more entertaining as it went along. It makes the jokes itself, like as a film, yeah. I feel. Wow. It, the beginning is 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 very rough. It's so boring because yeah, literally. I feel like, I, I feel if you're running. watching, I feel Dino Croc out of all of the three we've watched is the only one that could be fun if you're watching it by yourself. Yeah. Super Croc, Super Super Croc would be fun just for that one scene of explaining why crocodiles are basically gods. Yeah, and the the car destruction scene, and the, the eggs. Every time you saw <laughs> the egg props. Wow. Yeah, there, 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 there are some stuff, there's some stuff sprinkled throughout Super Crack that keeps you going, what the hell is this? It's so terrible that it doesn't become too boring for too long. So now people listening to this, you have learned some new facts about crocodiles because this has to be in a somewhat educational podcast. Because So yeah, now our fact for this movie is that crocodiles are indestructible. And if you steal a crocodile's egg, it will come for you. Never stop. Never stop. All right, I think uh, that's, we're going to wrap it up here. Yes. Thank you, Rick. That was incredible. Yes, that was um, incredible. <laughs> uh, anyways, and thank you guys for watching it, and we hope you enjoyed.